There are two major methods that can be used to slow down coastal erosion. There are traditional engineered coastal protection structures and beach nourishment. The coastal protection structures include seawalls, jetties, groins, and breakwaters. Seawalls are walls with a steep face that are built along the coasts. They are supposed to protect the beaches from wave erosion. Jetties are structures that go out into the sea and protect harbors from sediment buildup. Groins are walls perpendicular to the coasts. Their purpose is to capture sediment and stop it from drifting away from the coasts. Breakwaters are offshore structures that are used to lessen the force of waves and other types of weather. By lessening the force, less erosion will happen. These structures are supposed to stop erosion, but they usually cause more erosion instead. However, the erosion tends to stay near the place that it comes off from. Coastal protection structures are also considered unattractive to beach owners. Beach nourishment requires sand and sediment to be added to an eroding beach. In other words, it replenishes the sand on the beach. It is also a very expensive method. Ocean City in Maryland spent $40 million on beach nourishment. Beach nourishment is a very controversial method because it can help and harm the coasts. Beach nourishment can be harmful to the ecosystem because plants and animals can be buried under the sand when beach nourishment occurs. However, other sources say that if there is no blockage to the sand movement, the method is very effective. Some people say that this is the only effective way to keep a beach usable. While these methods can help slow down coastal erosion for a short time, we have to be more aware of what we do to our environment in order to help slow down coastal erosion.